Hello everyone, this is Professor Vishwesh Kumar here. Let us quickly look at the procedure involved in the design of an analog Butterworth filter. These are the contents of this particular lecture. At first, we will look at the general steps involved in the design of an analog IR filter. Next, we will explore the analog Butterworth filter design with an example. At the end, we will verify our design on paper and also on MATLAB. To get the maximum benefit of this lecture, I encourage you to practice the design example along with me. Pause the video right now, grab a piece of paper, pen and a calculator, set the calculator to radiance and complex mode and you are ready to go ahead. Okay, let's get started. Let's look at the general steps involved in the design of an analog IR filter. First step is to list out the specifications. Preferably the band edge frequencies omega p and omega s should be expressed in radians per second. The passband and stop band gains or attenuations should be in dBs. If the band edge frequencies are expressed in terms of hertz, those can be converted into radians per second by multiplying with 2 pi. If the passband and stop band tolerances are given as fractions, the delta P and delta S, then those have to be converted into gains or attenuations in dB suitably. Next step is to choose the appropriate magnitude approximation, usually mentioned in the problem statement directly or indirectly. The third step is to devise the normalized prototype low pass filter. Our design starts with designing this low pass filter, even though we may wish to design the high pass filter, band pass filter, or band elimination filter. We first design this normalized low pass filter with the given set of specifications. The word normalized means the passband edge is normalized to 1 radians per second. We will estimate the order of this particular filter and place the poles to get the transfer function. The last step is to convert this normalized low pass filter to desired low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter or band elimination filter by applying suitable spectral transformation. Let me take an example. If you wish to read the entire problem statement, you can pause the video right now. Okay. The objective is to separate the bass frequencies from the musical audio in order to feed it to a subwoofer. Bass frequencies contain vibrations up to 250 Hertz. You can notice from the problem statement that filters should have monotonic passband and stop band. This is the indirect way of specifying the type of magnitude approximation that one should use while designing this filter. Butterworth approximation satisfies this constraint. Filters should offer maximum attenuation of 3 dB in passband, minimum attenuation of 20 dB in stop band. The stop band edge is kept at 1 kHz. The solution to this problem is to design a low pass filter with Butterworth magnitude approximation using the given set of specifications. The specifications are listed as follows. The passband gain of minus 3 dB, the stop band gain of minus 20 dB, the passband edge of 250 Hertz converted to radians per second by multiplying with 2 pi. Similarly, the stop band edge of 1 kHz is converted to radians per second as well by multiplying with 2 pi. Next up, we will devise the normalized low pass filter. 
This is the normalized low pass prototype from which we will obtain the desired low pass filter by applying low pass to low pass transformation. The normalized low pass prototype filter will have the same pass band and stop band tolerances as that of the desired filter that is kp is equal to minus 3 db ks is equal to minus 20 db as specified in the problem on the other hand the normalized low pass filter will have the pass band edge of one radians per second hence the name normalized prototype and the stop band edge frequency of omega s radians per second we have to decide upon the value of omega s in the normalized low pass filter so that when we apply the low pass to low pass transformation the one radians per second pass band edge in the prototype filter will get mapped to given pass band edge of omega p which is equal to 2 pi into 250 radians per second and the stop band edge omega s in the prototype is mapped to stop band edge of omega prime s which is equal to 2 pi into 1000 radians per second of the desired filter let's determine the value of omega s in the prototype omega s is given by this formula which is the ratio of omega prime s over omega p which is equal to 2 pi into 1000 radians per second divided by 2 pi into 250 radians per second the ratio results in 4 radians per second the specifications for the prototype low pass filter are as follows the pass band gain of minus 3 db the stop band gain of minus 20 db the pass band edge of 1 radians per second the stop and edge of 4 radians per second as we have obtained in the previous step the next step is to estimate the order for this particular filter the order for the butterworth approximation is given by this formula upon substituting the values for kp ks omega p and omega s we have the order equal to 1.655390 which is rounded off to the next highest integer that is n equal to 2 it's not that the order obtained is 1.65 in this particular case hence we will up round it off to the next highest integer if the order estimated would have been resulted in say n equal to 1.4 then we would have rounded it off to the lowest integer n equal to 1 no it won't work that way suppose you are estimating the order for a particular filter if you obtain the order say n equal to 3.001 or exactly n equal to 3 even then you have to round it off to the next highest integer that is n equal to 4 the reason is the probability of meeting the given specifications is more by the higher order filter than the lower order filter after estimating the order of a filter the next step is to place the poles since the order estimated is equal to 2 we have to place two poles in order to get the transfer function for a normalized low pass filter the kth pole of a normalized Butterworth filter is given by this formula where n is the order of the filter and k is an integer variable which takes on the values 0 to 2n minus 1 for an nth order filter there are 2n number of poles the first n pole lie on the left half of the s-plane the next n poles lie on the right half of the s-plane for n equal to 2 the kth pole is given by this formula where k takes on values 0 to 3 first two poles for corresponding values of k equal to 0 and k equal to 1 will lie on the left half of the s-plane 
the next two poles for the values k equal to 2 and k equal to 3 will lie on the right half of the s-plane for a stable filter we have to place poles on the left half of the s-plane hence the poles for k equal to 0 and k equal to 1 are sufficient for a stable second order filter the poles are obtained by evaluating this equation for k equal to 0 and k equal to 1 in the calculator these are the poles obtained for corresponding values of k equal to 0 and k equal to 1 respectively while calculating the poles on a calculator one should keep the calculator in radians and complex mode once the poles are calculated the next step is to get the transfer function the normalized second order butterworth transfer function is given by this formula where s0 and s1 are the poles obtained in the previous step upon substitution and simplification we have the following transfer function if you notice the denominator it is the normalized butterworth polynomial of order 2 next step is to apply spectral transformation in this particular case the desired filter is a low pass filter with 250 hertz of pass bandage frequency hence we will apply a low pass to low pass transformation in case of butterworth filter design the cutoff frequency is applied for frequency transformation instead of passband edge of the desired low pass filter the cutoff frequency is given by this formula in this formula we need to substitute the value of omega p from the desired low pass filter specifications of course there are two choices for the cutoff frequency of a butterworth filter the reason behind choosing this particular formula over the other formula is we will exactly match the passband specifications and we will do better in the stop band this point i will clarify when we complete the design and calculate the magnitude response for stop band edge frequency let's calculate the cutoff frequency omega c by substituting the values omega p kp and yun the cutoff frequency is approximately equal to 1572.66 radians per second now we will apply frequency transformation the s in the transfer function is replaced by s over 1572.66 after replacing the s with s over 1572.66 in the transfer function and simplifying we obtain the final transfer function of the desired low pass filter with pass band edge of 250 hertz and the stop band edge of 1 kilohertz to verify the design we need to calculate the magnitude of the filter at pass band and stop band edge frequencies and compare the same with the given magnitude specifications in order to do that we need to replace the complex variable s in the transfer function with j omega where omega is the frequency variable in radians per second the h of j omega is a complex function of omega hence we need to take the absolute or magnitude in this case the numerator is purely real and hence the magnitude of a real quantity is just the same real quantity whereas the denominator is a complex number we need to take the square root of real part squared plus the imaginary part squared the above equation if we evaluate at omega is equal to omega p which is equal to 2 pi into 250 radians per second we have the magnitude of 0 0.7079 which is approximately equal to minus 3 db if we take 20 log 
to the base 10 of 0 0.7079 v which is in fact minus 3 db similarly if we evaluate the above equation at omega is equal to omega s which is equal to 2 pi into 1000 radians per second we have the magnitude value of 0 0.06 which corresponds to the value of minus 24 db which is less than minus 20 db from the above verification step we have matched the passband specifications exactly and we did better in the stop band as you can see the magnitude at stop band edge frequency is way less than the specified gain of minus 20 db in the stop band let's verify our design using matlab i have written a small piece of code which takes the numerator and denominator coefficients of a transfer function and evaluates the transfer function for different values of frequencies and displays the magnitude versus frequency plot you can pause the video and take a look at the code okay you can notice in the code b is the vector containing numerator coefficients a is the vector containing denominator coefficients if we evaluate the transfer function for different values of frequencies we get the following plot the x-axis is frequency in radians per second and y-axis is magnitude in db if you inspect the plot I have marked the passband and stop band edge frequencies the markers shows the frequencies and magnitude values at 1572 radians per second which approximately corresponds to 250 Hertz we get the magnitude of minus 3 db at 6280 radians per second uh, which corresponds to 1000 Hertz we have a magnitude of minus 24 db hence we can conclude that our design indeed meets the given specifications thanks for watching